Hi, I'm Lisa Wallen with Directional Learning, and today we're going to start our handwriting program. Now remember, we always teach with directions, so you can tell we have direction there for you. And these letters here, you can see I have pictures up here for you because I think it's always great to have an imagination. So I want you to imagine our letters as characters because we'll be talking about them as characters. Notice how most of them have their tongue sticking out. And also there are a few that don't have their tongue sticking out like the apple on the stick. Remember, our apple on the stick used to look like that. But that cat with his tongue sticking out came by and broke your stick. And you cried like a baby, ah, ah, ah. And mo notice most of these animals have their tongue sticking out because they're chasing the apple. And remember, the apple lived on the one side or by the capital L building, if you want to think of it that way. It lives on the left side. So, and these other animals are sticking their tongue out like the one lefty dragon. So remember, some of them don't have tongues like our joking joker, but see his smile? His smile goes towards the left. So the joking joker lives in the left. And look at the up guy. The up guy doesn't have his tongue sticking out. But remember, he married the queen, so he lives on the one side. So there are a few exceptions without tongues. So now we're going to go learn how to write our letters. And remember, when we write our letters, you're going to be saying their sounds. Because sounds equals reading with directional learning. Okay, let's go learn how to write our letters. Remember when we sorted our letters in these directional columns? And remember the apple, remember I told you the apple lives in the one direction or in the left direction? And remember all the other animals have their tongue sticking out and they're after the apple. So they're like the one lefty dragon. They stick their tongue out. So when we write our letters, our columns look a little different. Let me show you. We get rid of this. And we just put this in the middle. Do you see how that's in the middle? And we still have our left. So these are our tongue letters. And the one left to dragon lives there. And then this is our middle. So, and then this side over here would be our right, where the red reptile tree lives, or the number three. Now, do you see this here? This is our middle. We just don't have it labeled with the mountain monsters or the number two, because we need all this space to write. But no, this line is the middle. It's like a building. So now I'm going to show you how our letters here will get parked on this line when we write. Okay, so now we need the space here. So I'm now that you know that this is the middle, I'm going to get rid of these guys. So they're gone. Now I'm going to show you how to park the letters when we write them. First one I'm going to start off is with my apple on the stick. And remember, I told you my apple on the stick lives in the left. It's on the same side as the one lefty dragon and the capital L building. And look at its bump. Its bump points towards the capital L building or the left. So it's going to live there. Now, my next letter I'm going to show you is my cat. And this is my cat with his tongue sticking out. And see his bump? His bump points towards the left. So this is his bump. So we kind of pretend that's his tongue and it points towards the left or towards the capital L building. And it, his tongue points out like the one lefty dragon. So he lives there. And I call him my climbing cat. This line here I call my building. So he's climbing the building. Do you see him? So our next letter that we're going to park is our digging dog. And remember, our digging dog has his tongue stuck out. So he's a tongue letter. So make his tongue point towards the one lefty dragon. Now remember, he's a tongue letter because he's, his tongue is sticking out just like the one lefty dragon. So, and something else I want to show you about the digging dog is he has a couple letters in him. Actually, he has the cat and the apple in him. Do you see that? So watch. Okay, so here's the cat. And look, there's an apple hidden in there. And then his tongue goes up. So some of our letters will have other letters in them to remember how to write them. Okay, our next letter I want to show you how we would park it is our queen. And our queen has a tongue sticking out, so park her bump towards the left. So do you see her bump? We pretend this is her tongue and it's pointing towards the left. It's 
pointing her tongue is out just like one, the one lefty dragon. So that's why we call these tongue letters. And we simply use this line as a guide to write the letter. But remember, we're writing tongue letters, so make sure that you make their bump point towards the one lefty dragon. And their tongues are sticking out, out like the one lefty dragon. Okay, now we're ready to write our letters. But first, I'd like you to have a whiteboard in front of you and make sure you label your columns with our direction and make sure you make your line down the middle. That's where we're gonna write. And make sure that you have some markers. Now you can pick any color to write your letters with. Now it's time to write our letters down this line. So the first letter we're gonna write, and these are tongue letters, is our apple on the stick. And just remember, all our characters are chasing the apple on the stick. So how I write this letter is, I say, the cat comes by and he breaks the stick. Do you see the stick is short? So I'm gonna pick my color pencil. I'm gonna be pink. You can pick any color you want. So I say that cat comes by and he breaks the stick. And then you cry like a baby, ah, ah, ah. See the cat in the letter? So I say that cat comes by and he breaks your stick. And you cry like a baby, ah, ah, ah. That's the sound. So now you try it. You can pick any color you wanna be. I'm gonna be green for you today, but you can pick any color you wanna be. So remember that cat comes by and he breaks your stick. And you cry like a baby, ah, ah, ah. So that's how your apple on a stick gets a short, short stick. So that's your apple on a stick. Okay, the next letter we're gonna make is our climbing cat. And you already saw a picture of our climbing cat, but notice that he's climbing this time and he's climbing the building. So same thing, you just make the climbing cat. So let me make them for you. So all we do for the climbing cat is, I think of it, he's a climbing cat with his tongue stuck out. And do you notice that it looks like a tongue sticking out? And the tongue is pointing towards the one lefty dragon or towards the left. So I just make a tongue. Now, if you're having a hard time designing the tongue, an easy way to remember is you can put a dot here and you can put a dot down there. Do you see where I put the dots? Then you connect them to make the cat's tongue sticking out. And there we go. Do you see? Now you made a climbing cat. Now you could always do this too. So the next time you make the climbing cat, put your pen where the dot would be and then connect to the other dot. So you made the climbing cat. Do you see that? So yeah, now you try, just remember, make the climbing cat. So he's a climbing cat with his tongue sticking out and the sound is k k k. Our next letter we're gonna make is our digging dog. Are you ready for that? Let's make the digging dog. The digging dog, I'm gonna bring him out for you even though you saw a picture of him already. So this is our digging dog, and the digging dog has a few letters. It has the cat, and do you notice that it has the apple in it? Let me show you, let me bring the apple out so you can see. See how it has the apple in it? See how the apple fits? So it has hidden letters in there. So when I make this letter, I like to think of the apple first instead of thinking of two different letters, the cat and the apple. I just think if you make an apple first, then you make the digging dog's tongue go up, duh, duh, duh. See how it's going up the building? So let's try that. So I'm going to make the apple first. Do you see the apple? Then his tongue goes up the building, duh, duh, duh. See the pen going up? And when you say that sound, duh, do you feel your tongue touching the roof of your mouth? Duh, say it, duh. Feel the tongue going up? Well, same thing with the digging dog. His tongue goes up too. Do you remember the picture? So with this sound, this is a tricky letter. Just remember when you say the sound duh, your tongue is doing something. Just like the one lefty dragon. And your tongue is touching the roof of your mouth when you say this sound. Okay, now you try it. The best way to make it, I think, is thinking of the apple first. So let's make the apple. There's the apple. Then make his tongue go up. 
Feel your tongue going up. Feel the stroke of the pen going up. Duh, duh, duh. And just remember, the digging dog always has the apple in it, so he's easy to find. If you're looking for him, just look for the apple, and then you know that's the digging dog. So when you design this letter, now when you design it, I want you to always make the apple for the digging dog first and then make his tongue go up. If you start to make the line first, or we call the tall, tall building first, then it gets confusing. The other tricky letters. The digging dog is a tricky letter. So remember, when you design it, always design it like the apple. And when you look for it, if you look for the apple, you'll see the digging dog. All right, it's time for the queen. And remember, the queen, she likes apples. And do you notice this is our queen? Do you notice the queen has the fruit in her? She has the apple. The queen is holding the apple. And then we make her body and then give her a dancing leg towards the red reptile tree. So this is our queen. Just think, queens and apples. So she's holding the apple first, then make her body, and then give her a dancing leg. So that's the queen. Now, the cat is in the letter too. Do you see that? But when I make this letter, I like to think of the apple first. So let's make it. This is a fun letter. So we're gonna make the queen holding the apple. So make the apple. See the apple? Then give her a body, just a straight line, and then give her a dancing leg, kind of a diagonal line as she's dancing towards the red reptile tree or towards the right or towards the three direction. So that you made the queen, pretty easy. Now you try it, just remember the story. She's holding the apple, so we make the apple first. Then give her her body and then a dancing leg and the sound is qua, qua, qua. And just notice she's holding the apple and then she has a body and then a dancing leg. Something else about the queen is she's holding her tongue out. Do you see her tongue is sticking out? So, and remember, we're making tongue letters, so just remember the tongue always sticks out towards the left or towards the one. The tongue is the bump. So, the next letter we're gonna make is our goat, and our goat has its tongue sticking out. Do you see our goat? And it does have a couple of letters in it. It has the cat and the apple. So when I make this letter, I like to think that the goat is chasing the apple. So I make the apple first. Then I give him a jolly smile or a jolly smirk. Do you see that? And everything goes towards the one direction. So let's make our goat. So remember, he's holding the apple or he's chasing the apple. So make the apple first. Then give him a jolly smirk or jolly smile. And his goat sound is gu, gu, gu. So just remember the apple, then give him a smile. See a smile? And a smile goes towards the left. Okay, now you try it. So just remember the goat has the apple. So first we make the apple, then give him a jolly smirk or a jolly smile. And our next letter we're gonna make is our joking joker. Our joking joker, he does not have a tongue, but do you notice the joking joker? This is his hat and this is his smile. So he has a jolly smile too. And notice his jolly smile goes towards the one direction or towards the left, like our goat. So you're gonna go ahead and make the jolly joker. So remember I said the joking joker has a hat on and he has a smile. So do you notice the dot is his hat, and he has a jolly smile. So, just like our goat. So, let's make him. So, first I make a hat, and then I give it a little space so the, so the jolly smile or jolly laugh is not hitting his hat. Then I make it go to the one. So, there's the ja, the joking joker. So, here's his hat, and here's his jolly smile. And his jolly sound is ja, ja, ja. So now you try it. Give him a hat and then give him a jolly smile. And his jolly sound is ja, ja, ja. Pretty easy. Our next one is our elephant. And let me bring the elephant out so you can see what he looks like. And the elephant lives on the one side. Remember, the elephant has a tongue. And see this bump here? 
imagine that as his tongue, and this is his trunk, and then he goes after that cat. Do you see him? So our elephant has his tongue sticking out. So an easy way to remember this, remember this is the building here. So this is the elephant's trunk, the straight line. Do you see it? This horizontal line. So imagine the elephant, he hits his trunk on the building and then he goes after that cat. So that's how we're going to build him. And remember his trunk is away from the building. So his trunk starts here, then it hits the building. Then he goes after that cat. So let's try to make the elephant. So remember the elephant's trunk. So I start a dot here and then make his trunk hit the building. And then he goes after that cat. Eh, eh, eh. That's his baby sound. Eh, eh, eh. Or that's a short sound. Okay, now you try it. So remember his trunk hits the building, then he goes after that cat, and the sound is eh, eh, eh. Now this might take you a few times, so just practice. That's all you have to do is practice. Remember, his trunk hits the building, and then he goes after the cat, and the sound is eh, eh, eh. Now our last letter we're going to make is uh, 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 and we call this the schwa. Remember, this letter has wings, and if it were to fly in, you would hear schwa, schwa, schwa. So just remember, the English language uses the schwa in a lot of words, especially bigger words. You'll learn about that later. But for now, his sound is uh, uh, uh. So when you hear that sound, something special I want you to do is I want you to give him two eyes. And we're going to use the color blue today for his eyes because you notice how he's red? Well, here's a hint. He'll be able to turn into a blue letter. So his sound is uh, uh, uh. So can you watch while I make him? And something that I do for him is I think of this as being his nose. See his nose? And these are his eyes. And remember, he's married to the queen. He doesn't have a tongue, but he's married to the queen, so that's why he lives on the one side. So I'll get my pen out and make him for you. So when I make him, I just think of a nose. So I make his nose first, and then I say a sound, uh. I heard a sound, so give him two eyes every time you hear that sound, uh. Now you try it. So just remember, give him a nose and say a sound, uh, then give him two eyes and there you go. Now if you're having a hard time remembering his sound, well remember he's called the up guy so you can touch your nose and look up and that will remind you of the sound uh 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 for up. So you just learn all our tongue letters and remember most of our letters have tongues or they have bumps pointing towards the left or the one direction like the one lefty dragon. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice all the letters that we just learned in the same order. So now what I'll do is I'll call out the sound and I'll call them out in the same order that we learned them and all you do is write it. So let's see what you remember, but it's okay if you need to look up. Okay, the first sound is ah. Can you remember how to make that? Remember, it's our apple on a stick, and remember that cat comes by, sticks its tongue out, and breaks your stick, and the sound is ah, ah, ah. Now, next is our climbing cat. Do you remember what the climbing cat looks like? K, k, k. Can you make it? I'll make it with you, and you can see if you made it. K, k, k. And if you don't remember, you can look up or watch me sound is the digging dog and remember the digging dog it has the apple so make the apple so you make the apple first then make his tongue go up duh 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 next comes our queen qua 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 and remember that queen she's holding the apple so have her hold the apple and then make her body and then give her a dancing leg qua 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 the next sound is gu 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 that's our goat with his tongue sticking out and Remember, the goat is holding the apple, so can you make the goat? So, same thing, I think of the apple. Remember, the apple was in a lot of these letters. So I make the apple first, and then I give him a jolly smile. 
and his goat sound is ga ga ga. Our next letter is our joking joker. Remember the joking joker. Just remember to make its hat first and then give him a jolly smile. And his jolly sound is ja, ja, ja. So, did you make the joking joker like that? Remember, give him a hat, then give him a smile. Ja, ja, ja. Okay, two more letters. We're going to make our elephant and our up guy. So, let's make the elephant first. Remember, the elephant has a trunk. And remember, the trunk is away from the building and it hits the building. Then he goes after that cat. And his baby sound or short sound is eh, eh, eh. Next, we're going to make the up guy. And remember the up guy. Just remember, he's married to the queen, so he's super powerful. Called the schwa sometimes. Remember, make his nose first. And say his sound, uh. And remember, give him two eyes. And that sound is uh, uh, uh. So you just made all our tongue letters. So now all you have to do is practice the tongue letters. So we thank you for watching directional learning. And now guess what? If we have tongue letters, we have road letters next that live on the right. And we're going to have middle letters too. So remember, make sure you do the handwriting with directional learning because if you're able to make the letters and link the sounds to the letters, then that creates reading with directional learning. We can't wait to teach you more. So make sure you go to our YouTube channel, Directional Learning, and watch all our videos. And don't skip a step because we want to teach you reading in a quick, fast way. Thank you for watching Directional Learning. We can't wait to teach you more.